You can take. Look, I didn't mean anything. Don't get upset. Who's upset? I had a terrific time. You're a great host, Mr. Cashman. You're a nice, soft talker. You pour a small but beautiful glass of scotch. And my compliments to your mother's housekeeping. Where are you going? Out in the street to look for cigarette butts and then home. But don't worry. No one will notice me leaving the building. I'll walk out backwards. What did I say? Why are you so upset? You've got some kind of nerve getting me up here in this furniture museum in that shiny blue suit with your thimble full of scotch sitting there smelling your fingers and telling me I give you the blues. When did I say that? I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. I'm very happy. Listen, I don't have any change. Let me have 30 cents. Maybe I'll get luckier on the bus. Well, please, don't run out. Let me just say something. Say something? You've already talked away half of our allotted time. Now you'll use the other half to wipe my lip prints off the glasses, pop up the pillows, and get the hell out of here. Just lower your voice. Lower, lower my voice. Mr. Cashman is using his mother's apartment to bring broad! Oh, boy. What's the sense Don't of that? Don't tell me I depress you, flaming Florentine flounder. I ended up with a goddamn leprechaun. Elaine, Elaine, you're getting yourself unduly upset. Unduly upset? I'm risking a silver bullet between the eyes. I can't even get a lousy cigarette. <coughs> water. I'll get you water. <coughs> oh, God. What if she gets sick and dies in the living room? How am I going to explain a dead Polish woman to my mother? <coughs> Oh, your chest sounds all congested. Have you ever tried sleeping with a vaporizer? No, but don't worry. I'll get around to everyone. Well, I sure bungled this whole thing, didn't I? You want to straight? I'm sorry I wasted your time. I'm sure you could have found something better to do than sitting here all afternoon with me. All right, don't get choked up. I can't stand a choked up 44-year-old man. Is that how old I look to you? 44? Cut right down to the marrow, huh? No, actually, you look like a college kid. 21, 22. Come on, Elaine. Those are your black socks with the clocks on them that threw me off. Well, actually, I'm flattered, because I'm 45. Does that surprise you? It's a good thing I was sitting down when you told me. You're still upset about what I said before, aren't you? I'm not upset. I'm not angry. I'm not mad. If you want the plain, heartbreaking truth, I'm a little bored. No harm was done. No one got hurt. The worst that'll happen is from now on, I'll get the same five shrimps as everyone else. It's been a glorious and memorable 30 minutes. Elaine, do you know what I wish? I wish we could start this whole thing over again from the beginning. Doesn't everyone, Barney. Ciao. <laughs>